Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are back on the Resident Evil hype train and we are going to be talking about the latest leaks for Resident Evil 9. These leaks were dropped by Biohazard Declassified who is a credible source in the Resident Evil field. Apparently there was a playtester who was playing Resident Evil 9 who gave Biohazard Declassified these news. I'm going to start off by saying thank you so much for dropping these leaks. It is, you know, honestly you should probably be fired for this but you're doing the Lord's work. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and start with the characters that is going to be in Resident Evil 9. And the main characters are going to be Jill Valentine and Leon S. Kennedy, which is awesome. I know that is a duo that a lot of people have been wanting to see. And we got a little taste of that in Resident Evil Death Island. So it shows that Jill and Leon are tasked to investigate an island where apparently the people that created Evelyn reside in. It says it's going to take place four years after Village wrapping up the story in the trilogy. Blue Umbrella could return as well, which makes sense. After Village, of course, you see the whole zombie with BSAA and Chris Redfield. I'm assuming is going to do that because as you can see in these leaks as well, Chris Redfield and Barry Burton are going to be in this game as well. So they're not they might not be main playable characters, but they will play a integral role in this game. Uh, like I said before, at the end of Village, you do see the zombie or the uh, the bioweapon being used at the end of Village, and Chris Redfield is not okay with that, and he, uh, hopefully they try to figure that out, because that if they don't include that in this game, I'm going to be really confused as to why they even threw that as a plot point in Village. But I am very excited to see uh, who, this who the company is that created Evelyn. I'm excited to delve into more of the molded i know a lot of people aren't fans of it but the molded is one of the coolest designs and the coolest bioweapons in my opinion i think it's really cool and evelyn as a, a superhuman type creature that it, i think that's just really cool but it says here according to these leaks jill and leon are on a mission to infiltrate the island where clones of evelyn are supposedly being made using the mega my seat even more interesting there are also the potential of rosemary winters returning or at the very least mentioned, which, to be honest with you, I don't care if Rosemary's in the game. I'm If this is four years after Village, she's going to be like four, five years old. I could care less, to be honest with you. Uh, let's leave the Winters family alone for once. Let's focus on the main cast, focus on the company that created this whole mess, and deal with that. Leave Rosemary alone. She got her story in the DLC for Village. Just leave her alone. Reports from Biohazard Declassified claims that her blood will be used to craft a vaccine for infected people on the mysterious island. An island setting is quite intriguing, especially when the leaks suggest a wide variety of locations. There's going to be an abandoned hospital, houses, a factory, caves, a dark forest, laboratory, and a temple. That's going to be awesome. Uh, the dark woods, I love exploring the woods like in Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, going through the woods to find Lisa Trevor's little cabin in Resident Evil Remake. Excuse me? I think that's going to be really cool though, especially going back into the dark forest like in Resident Evil 4 Remake going through the woods. And in Resident Evil 1 Remake where you can go to Lisa Trevor's cabin. That little section there is just one of the coolest sections in that game. It's so spooky, mysterious, I, I love it so much. The enemies in this are pretty interesting to say the least. We will have an enemy that is named as Mr. Simon. Uh, he is going to be the main antagonist, a constant Mr. X-like enemy that stalks Leon while Jill faces an entity known as the Goatman. <laughs> That's going to be fucking weird. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of little lore, especially living in Kentucky, there's like a little... Uh, some little folklore in Kentucky where there's a goat man running around as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one of the most fascinating details in these extensive leaks involve the rumors, the rumored enemies players will face. They have evolved version of zombies reportedly similar to Resident Evil 4's Ganados. Uh, they'll be able to weld melee weapons. More importantly, though, these leaks claim that they worship the moon with moon tattoos on their arms and their reported habit of singing to the celestial body. Resident Evil 9 could have a fascinating race of infected on its hands. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, to be honest, hopefully there are like 
I understand they want like evolved zombies, but I would like to see little dumbed down zombies as well. Maybe give us some that are dumb as hell that, you know, just roam around that you can kill and give us some that are a little bit smarter and evolved, like the ones with the moon tattoos and stuff. Uh, that's honestly going to be kind of creepy, them singing to the moon and stuff. That's going to be really weird. I'm excited to see more details on that. I'm really excited to see, for one, I'm really excited to see Barry Burton. Uh, we haven't seen Barry Burton since Resident Evil Revelations 2, and he was really cool in that. I feel like that game was kind of just a uh, cloned copy of The Last of Us. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. I think Barry was awesome in that game, and I think he's awesome in general. I'd love to see him back in the franchise, but I'm a little bummed out. I'm, I'd kind of like to see Rebecca. I think it's been too long since we've seen Rebecca, but this is what we have so far. We have Barry Burton. Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, and Leon S. Kennedy. I think it's going to be a cool duo between the two. But that's going to be all for these Resident Evil 9 leaks. What do you all think of these leaks? Do you think any of this is true? If so, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And until next time, take it easy, bubs.